Welcome to my January 7th Thursday video of uh, the San Francisco sky. I'm going to show you a few things that were really strange about the sun on this day and this time I'm going to narrate to kind of help clear up any confusion uh, that I've noticed uh, in the comment section. Now I want you to know that I am accounting for lens flare or lens artifacts and the way I do that is by rotating the camera and as you can see anything that rotates with the camera uh, can be considered a lens artifact anything that stays still will regard as being in the sky as it is uh, as well lens artifacts only occur when there's something bright enough to trigger it on the camera at first I was a little bit frustrated by the amount of cloud cover uh, but as it turns out, the clouds actually help illustrate a couple of important things. Now, what I hope to show you is that the sun occupies uh, various spots, different spots, inconsistent with how the sun actually moves. And using this to demonstrate that there are, in fact, more than one celestial objects. Which in this next clip, I'll be showing you a couple of stills first. And I've drawn in the, uh, the directions to help guide and show you where the sun is supposed to be traveling. It's um, in an arc, a little biased toward the south because I'm in the northern hemisphere and it's in the winter time. The brightness adjustments that you're seeing on the screen, those are done by me through the filter. The important thing to look at though is the most intense spot on the screen, which we'll assume that's where the sun is. And uh, you can see the starting position is in that set of lower clouds. It's helpful to use the tree uh, to the lower right of it as a way to gauge where it's supposed to be movement of it because there's a little bit of movement in the clouds that might confuse you otherwise. We're coming upon the point where you can actually see the sun change into the other position, the one to the upper left. And remember that there's supposed to be movement toward the right side of the screen, which is toward the south. I should point out also that the entire clip, the one that I'm showing you, lasts only about uh, four minutes, and there is not that much movement in the sky from the sun in four minutes. In fact, it's moving about as much as it does in 40 minutes in the span of uh, the four minutes. Sure enough, here's where the lower sun starts to fade out in favor of the uh, brightness on the upper left-hand side. There's the other one right there. They're, they're right one above the other. Let's see if I can fade out a little. There's one right there. There's one right there. I mess with the brightness settings at this point to give you an idea of just how dramatic the the brightness shift was uh, in real life. Using the darkness filter, uh, I just hope to emphasize the fact that there's no light or, or um, brightness coming from the secondary object. The next clip you can tell I shot later look at the position of it and the really bizarre thing now is at this point you can pretty clearly see that there are two objects uh, look at the clouds and look at the rays of light in the angles of those rays telling you where the source of that light is coming from you see that that thing that I'm focusing on that is not lens flare there's no bright object triggering it and it's giving off its own beam of light. Simultaneously, the supposed sun underneath is also giving off its own beams of light. So it cuts across there. And you tell also there's another object. Of course, the most convincing thing to me was that I could see it with my naked eye, the clouds covering it and then uncovering it, uh, beams of light shining and then dissipating from it. I mean, it's quite clear to me. And I think this video shows that 
There's another object up there. So there's that thing. The, the small sun up there, which is showing right now. It's just starting to shine through. Right there, center screen. And it's being obscured now by more clouds, but maybe one of the other one of the other objects will show up. I mean, those obscuring clouds just came out of nowhere. 